Hey right, guys, time for the winch install. Got everything kind of laid out here. The winch itself, KFI 3500. Here's a wired remote. Plug for the wired remote. Wires for the winch themselves for power. Winch stopper. Winch mounting pad. Rollers. And then this is a handlebar mount switch. I'm not sure if I'll use that or not, or if I might actually, I'm not sure if I can use that as a different kind of switch and put it in the dash. Otherwise I may buy a, an actual switching pad for inside the, inside the cab so that it matches the rest that's in here. Um, I'm doing a heater as well. So I'll probably just pop out some of those and put a you know, switch panel in there so they all look the same somewhat, at least. Um, so the thing I did today is put a couple of pieces of rubber on this windshield. I don't know if anyone else sees that or not or notices it, but having this windshield kind of drop down a little bit, probably not that big a deal, but kind of drives me nuts. So I just put a piece underneath there. We'll see how that works, if that helps hold it up or if that just uh, delays the inevitable and it's gonna slide down again and leak and whatever else. Um, it's not a whole bad, you know, real bad leak or nothing like that, but no water. I just noticed I could see a little bit of air when it's sitting. So anyway, um, I'm gonna get started on this winch install and we'll take her piece by piece. I'll keep you up with the progress. All right, everybody. Got the winch all mounted up, all wired up. Ready to rock. I just kind of wanted to go through a, a quick video. of I took some pictures, but I didn't do a um, step by step. I'd like to have, but it was really windy yesterday and crappy, and I was crabby. And so here's what I did: I bolted the winch on, and I ran my wiring up along the frame here. And then just I actually popped a couple of holes in the top of this ECU box from the inside. And then ran my contactor right here. And then down the inside, it's got this indention here basically. And then into the battery. Underneath the seat. And then I put my I was gonna do the rocker switch, but I'm thinking most of the time when I'm pulling somebody out or getting pulled out, I'll probably be standing next to it. So I actually just did the remote with the long cable on it. I put that right there. Really happy with it. Um, works good. I'll be doing some tests on it here real soon. I actually have the ECU out of it right now, so I can't actually drive it because it's getting tuned. I should have that tomorrow. And then I'll do some more testing on on uh, the winch and how it works and how the bumper works. But so far I'm extremely happy with the fit and finish on it. Um, as you can see the box still dumps all the way. and It does on these 32s. Touch the tire just a little bit. I don't think it's a big deal because... I'm never going to be driving with the box open. So I don't think it's that big a deal. But she looks pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> 